welcome to all of you in new session in bsc third year there are four papers first is real analysis second is complex analysis and tensors third is numerical analysis fourth is linear programming in second paper here we have to study first uh, complex analysis complex analysis as we know we have studied in our previous classes in complex analysis we have studied complex numbers complex number is denoted by z equal to x plus i here x and y are real numbers and i satisfies the equation i square equal to minus 1 and it is called iota and here x is called real number real part and y is called imaginary part in 16th century Garolamo Cardano invented complex number when he was tried to solve third degree equation as proof equal to 1 he found this equation has not complete solution so he gave a new number complex and here we see in complex number there are two parts one is real part other is imaginary part that is here if we talk about number system all natural numbers are whole numbers all whole numbers are rational numbers all rational numbers are real numbers and all rational numbers are complex numbers. So set of complex number is super set of set of real numbers. Here it is very understand to understand very necessary to understand about complex numbers no any com two complex numbers are less than or greater 
if we take any two complex numbers a and b so here there is no inequality between two complex numbers here we see real part imaginary part there are two parts तो यदि हम लोग इसको रियल लाइफ में देखा है तो हम लोग पाते हैं कि हमारे जीवन के भी दो पक्ष हैं वर्ल्ड विश्व के भी दो भाग हैं एक है रियल वर्ल्ड दूसरा है वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड इसी को लेके हमारे मनुष्यों ने भी एक लौकिक शब्द कहा है एक अलौकिक कहा है रामचरित मानस में गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी ने एक पंक्ति के माध्यम से इसको कहा है जाने बिनु न हो प्रती बिना वास्तविकता के ज्ञान के हम कल्पना नहीं कर सकते हैं आज कोरोना कालखंड में भी अगर देखा जाए तो हम रियल वर्ल्ड में रहते हुए बहुत सारे कार्य वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड में कर रहे हैं कंप्यूटर में भी देखा जाए तो उसके भी दो पार्ट होते हैं एक को हम लोग हार्डवेयर बोलते हैं एक को सॉफ्टवेयर बोलते हैं हार्डवेयर हमें दिखाई पड़ता है और सॉफ्टवेयर प्रत्यक्ष नहीं दिखता है तो यहां कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर में अगर देखा जाए तो एक रियल पार्ट है एक विजनरी पार्ट है लेकिन महत्व दोनों का ही है बहुत सारी प्रॉपर्टी का अध्ययन हम लोग कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर में कर चुके हैं और उसके आगे की प्रॉपर्टी हम लोग देखेंगे तो यहां पर जो डेवलपमेंट हुआ इन एटीन सेंचुरी यूला यूला में एटीन सेंचुरी में यूलर्स फॉर्मूला दिया इसको हम लोग ई रेस टू पावर आई थीटा इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा प्लस आई साइन थीटा के रूप में जानते हैं और भी बहुत सारे थ्योरम्स फॉर्मूले कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस के लिए दिए इसके अलावा हम याद करें तो कौशी इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी फ्रेंच मैथमेटिशियन कौशी में कौशी रिमा क्वेश्चन एक बहुत ही पॉपुलर फार्मूला है उसको हम लोग पढ़ेंगे इसके अलावा कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटीग्रेशन में जब चलेंगे तो वहां भी कौशी इंटीग्रल फार्मूला है कौशी स्थरम है नाइनटीन सेंचुरी रीमा Also gave Rima Mapping Theorem. 
very fruitful for complex analysis. As we know, Cauchy Rima equations and in 19th century also Varastras he is also a German mathematician Also, they are very popular. Casoretti, Warstras theorem. Warstras theorem for infinite products. And much more mathematicians like Rotis and Rotis theorem. We will study for the Python Taylor theorem. McLaurin theorem. So many mathematicians work for complex analysis. Here we see complex number each represented by argon plane. PXY. If we write it X and Y. If we write in polar, then this angle is theta and OP equal to R. And Z can be written as Z equal to R e raised to power I theta. Where R equal to under root X square plus Y square and theta equal to tan inverse Y upon X. It is brief for complex number. So many operation, addition, subtraction division, multiplication and other more operations also. Now in this lecture we have to focus also about application of complex numbers. Application of complex numbers. application complex analysis mainly we see Complex analysis is used in applied mathematics, physics and in engineering. In mathematics, 
we see it is used in algebraic geometry. Algebraic geometry. Also analytic number theory. Complex dynamics in applied mathematics. Fractals in physics it is used. Hydrodynamics, it is also in mathematics. Thermodynamics, electrostatics, Quantum mechanics, in engineering, it is used in aerospace engineering. In mechanical engineering, and in electrical engineering, Thus we see it is very useful for our life because it is used as a tool in more parts of engineering, physics, applied mathematics also. And also, it is useful in medical science also. So, it is a brief introduction of complex analysis. Thank you.